This is 50.com. This is 50 Radio. The Heineken is here live in full effect, surrounded by nothing but Haitians. Swing the camera around. What up, what up, Money what up? and violence. Yeah. What's Show. going on? Heineken, what up? Season two. Let's talk about this, man. The streets been fiending. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We about to roll back out with the whole season two thing. Right now, we doing this campaign, little fundraising campaign yeah. to raise the funds, you know, to for a bigger and better season two, give the people much tighter production work and all of that, you know, some 4K cameras and all of that. Get them, you know, what yeah. they're asking for. Your storyline can be so expanded. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. we, we can get different sets. We can get a Miami scene mm -hmm. and, and show niggas what it's really like to lose a hundred bricks. Mm -hmm. But this is but here. this is what people this is <laughs> this is this is what people don't realize. Like yeah, that's course. See, with season one, like it was kind of limited. Like there were things that I wanted to do that it was mm. like, damn, how am I gonna make this happen? You understand? Because it's like this is out of the budget. Okay. You get where I'm coming from. So a lot of like a lot of things that I wanted to be visual with, I couldn't. Like the whole scene with dude jumping off the balcony and all that. Like I wanted to really shoot that, but it was like, yeah, how am I really? Yeah, like how am I really gonna do this? You understand where I'm coming from? Because we got this limited budget that we're working with. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, the people gave us so much love and attention with the minimal that we had that we feel like we owe them to get in the best season two possible. You understand? So that's why we're like, yo, you know what? Let's get these cameras. Let's, you know, got the people consulting me. Let's get, you know, the stunts, all of this, man, to really, really, really get the people and elevate impact. Elevate the product. Yeah, elev of course. You got to elevate the product because first season, we came out of nowhere, so we were looked at as amateurs performing on a professional level. Mm. But now, second season, if we don't come and step it up, we're going to be looked at as professionals performing on an amateur level. A lot of niggas have been complaining. They're like, why are you guys doing a fundraiser? Give us the episodes for free. Yeah. You yeah. know? Or, for free. Yeah, you know, or, or they're like... Why, why don't you sign a deal? I mean, this is the thing, you know. You like, got explain to them what's you have. You have all these people out there that are like, yo, y'all need to keep y'all creative control. Exactly. Aside from that, yo, don't let this thing get watered down. Y'all need to do this independently. Well, this is the way, you know. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people don't know is that we spent about 40, 40 grand on season one. You exactly. know, people people think that that didn't cost. No, it cost out of our pocket, and we thought. It was right for it to cost us because the people didn't know what we were capable of. But now that we gave y'all seven months, 26 episodes of straight fire, you know, we already gave the block that sample and now it's time for us to re-up. So, look, I can't even put up a picture of my daughter on social networks without somebody commenting under, yo, where the hell is season two? Where the fuck is season two? Mm. You understand? So, now that you want it, now that you want it, yo, put yeah, up deliver. For it. Like, what's been the most memorable points for each person, man? The craziest moment was when I got that call and they was like, um, that um, the project is gonna be recognized by the Tribeca Film Festival. That's beautiful. You know, and, and, and it was like, um, when, I, when I read the article and it was like, they got it, they understood that, mm. you know, it wasn't just on some shoot 'em up, bang, bang, that this was really a uh, peek into our lives. Like it was a realistic peek and it was art because of that, you know, that it wasn't just a bunch of dudes trying to look tough on camera. Actually, it, it kind of, well, I'm not going to say Tribeca, Tribeca figured that out because when we did Fox 5 and yeah. when she interrupted, like when the commercial came on with Empire and she said, I'm going to show you what's really going on in the streets of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. it, it was a, that, that was a little different for me as well. I'm looking like she kind of understands that this is not fabricated. Yeah, Lisa Evans. I would say, I would say yo, my, Shout out to Lisa Evans, yeah, too. That was big, yo. My highlights would have to be Don Diva. Don Diva. Yeah, cover? Be, being a cover on Don Diva. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Kevin Childs and Delson Holloway, too, my dude. Yeah, I got a few yeah, highlights. Yeah, for real. Yeah, because cause Don, I mean, Don Diva, too, because Don Diva's like the street Bible, you know what I mean? And, That's and, and And to be thrown on the cover and, you know, like, we ain't pay a dollar for that or nothing. Like, they reached out and it was like, yo, you know, we did the background, everything came back A1, so you know what's all love. I, I, I respect that. Like, that was a, that definitely was a big moment, yeah, that, that especially for all my dudes that's, you know, behind that wall that's locked up for them to see it's on that cover. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. Put the money in the bank like, whoa. Hit the gas in a new rate like, whoa. And I know these niggas hate, but I laugh in their face. Got a quarter million dollars on my wrist. Whoa. Big shit, ballin', house on the hills. I bring my